dear dear students so in this session we will see some questions reasoning question based on d and f block elements so these questions are again useful for your um, board purposes and the examination competition examinations so let us see one by one copper implements were copper implements were known to mankind much earlier than iron implements so we can see this one actually copper occurs in nature also as a free metal but met iron is always found in nature in combined state so this is the reason for which copper implements in for the main kind much earlier than the iron so reason is that it is nature as well as free metal both are present copper is regarded as a transition metal though it has completely d filled uh, filled d orbitals so let us see this one all the copper has 3d 10 configuration yet it can lose one electron from this arrangement thus copper 2 plus ion has 3 9 configuration so according to definition the transition element cations have partially filled n minus d subcells so copper is regarded as a transition metal explain why iron is a transition element but sodium is not actually the different setting electron that is the last electron incoming electron in iron it acquires the 3d to give this configuration this is the configuration the last electron after acquiring it gives uh, it is giving this configuration 3d6 4s2 with incomplete 3d uh, in with incomplete d subsets so this is incomplete 3d6 the characteristic which is the characteristic of the transition metal in sodium the different setting electron means the last incoming electron occupies the 3s1 subset to give neon 3s1 3s1 configuration so that's why iron is a transition element but sodium is not transition element so horizontal as well as vertical relationships explain so transition element due to sealing effect it acquires almost similar size to last five elements so to so horizontal relationships vertical relationship is due to the similar electronic configuration that's why they so horizontal as well as vertical relationship atomic radius in a transition series does not vary much while that of s and p block does why because due to more sealing effect of the pin ultimate d subset in transition elements why because the sealing effect of the pin ultimate d subset in transition element that's why they does not vary much zinc cadmium mercury have a low melting point boiling point compared to other members of the transition element why actually these elements have a completely uh, d orbitals filled d orbitals this is the filled d orbitals with no unpaired electrons and they may be available uh, for covalent bonding among the atoms of these elements these metals which is responsible for high melting point and boiling point k2 p pt cl6 is a well known compound where its corresponding nickel compound is not known why because in this cases platinum has high ionization energy while the nickel does not have it cannot form ni4 plus ion platinum can form so platinum can form four positive and which is more stable while nickel even can form n4 positive ion that's why this is a well known compound transition metals have high melting point boiling point why because of due to strong metallic bonding they have unpaired d electrons ionization energy of first five members of the 3d series increase with increase in atomic number and then become constant or irregular for next five members explain for first five elements the effective nuclear charge it predominates over the sealing effect and thus ionization energy increases in next five elements the sealing effect increases more rapidly due to the dense packing of electrons in d orbitals that is pairing take place and the effective nuclear charge and sealing effect counterbalance each other so they all counterbalance each other to so a net result of constant or irregular but closest trends in ionization energy values first ionization energy of the 5d series transition metals are higher than those of 3d and 4d series explain actually the valence cell of electrons on 5d experience greater effective nuclear charge than 3d and 4d elements due to poor sealing of 4f subcell electrons account for the fact that the second ionization energy of both chromium and copper are abnormally higher than that of next elements actually in this case what happens the second ionization energy of chromium copper 
remove electrons from 3d5 so electrons remove from the 3d5 and in case of copper electron remove from the 3d10 orbital respectively which are more closer to nucleus and they possess half fit and completely filled nature respectively thus the values of ionized energy are abnormally higher in comparison to zinc and cadmium whereas removal of second electrons occurs from the 4s1 and 5s1 respectively transition metals are weak reducing agent explain so again we can see that because they have a high heat of sublimation they have a high heat of sublimation high ionized energy and low reduction potential blue color of copper sulfate solution is discharged slowly when an iron rod is dipped into it why because here iron has a more uh, oxidation potential than copper and they liberate cu2 plus ions from the solutions to discharge blue color like this one that's why this blue color of copper sulfate discharge slowly when an iron rod is dipped into it transition metal so variable valence explain actually due to the very small energy difference between the ns2 and n minus d electrons so energy difference between the d and d are very small that's why they so they so variable valence what property of tungsten make it suitable for use as elements in flash bulbs actually tungsten has a high melting point moderate electrical resistance and low volatility so that's why it is very suitable for the uh, filaments in flash bulbs a2 plus is more stable than in a platinum 2 plus but the trend is reverse uh, where platinum 4 plus is more stable than the ni4 plus explain so in this case what happens uh, that the i1 and i2 for nickel is relatively lesser than platinum 2 plus so energy of 2 this one plus 1 plus 2 ns energy for plus 1 plus 2 for electron uh, nickel is very low where the sum of the first four ns energy higher for ni4 plus then platinum 4 plus also nickel di positive possess the tendency for hydration whereas platinum di positive does not and thus hydrated nickel 2 plus oxidation state is fairly stable on the other hand platinum 4 plus is more stable than nickel 4 plus because the former possesses normal characters and is soluble in aqua regia to form s2 p2 uh, platinum cl6 which is quite stable and is not reduced to acid acid solution so why that's why this is more stable in plus 2 state and platinum 4 plus is more stable in ni4 plus so one is this region and second is your this region they are possess normal characters and soluble in aqua regia why do transition metals form complexes actually due to their small size high nuclear charge and availability of vacant d orbitals or vacant orbitals of suitable energy so that's why they can form the complexes transition metals usually form the colored ions why except except for the few cases like zinc mercury cadmium and titanium 4 plus sector transition metals usually form the one or more unpaired d electrons which in presence of ligand which in presence of ligand they undergo d transition to impart color to them unlike transition metals salt of s and p block elements are not colored so actually energy required to promote s and p orbitals energy required to promote s and electrons of s and p orbitals into the higher energy levels they lie in the ultraviolet region that's why they are not showing colors zinc cadmium cadmium and mercury compounds are usually white explain because all these element they show plus 2 oxygen states involving n minus 1 into d10 configuration so their configuration is this one and they do not have any unpaired electron in the d substance that's why there is no d transition is present mercurius ion is written as sg2 2 plus this is the sg2 2 plus whereas the cuprous ion is present as cu plus so region so region is that uh, sg plus has the this configuration Xenon 4f14 4d uh, 5d10 6s1 configuration. Thus, Sg plus ion should be paramagnetic due to the unpaired electron. But Sg plus ion show the diamagnetic behavior. So they should have unpaired, but they are showing diamagnetic behavior because it is taken as the Sg2 2 plus. While in case of Cu plus ions, they are diamagnetic, and uh, we can see with argon 3. This is the configuration of the Cu plus ion. So this is the configuration Cu plus ion. And for configuration of Sg2 plus is uh, 4f14, 5d10, and this one. So this is the configuration of Sg2 plus. So these are the answers.